video, I'm going to turn this little play keyboard. Can you play with your feet? I'm going to give it some upgrades because I noticed speakers don't get loud enough, aka not loud enough to start a party. Like this thing's pretty cool. And it has this. But I noticed if you play it too hard, it does this. I think that might be a battery voltage thing. So maybe I'll see if I can give it some lithium and an external audio. All right, so I started disassembling this thing. Um, I left it mostly unfurled because if you've ever handled one of those DDR mats, these things can uh, break pretty easy if you fold them too many times. Um, I had to find some hidden screws under these foot pads, which is a common thing manufacturers will do so that users don't like accidentally do the wrong screws or mess with their stuff. Um, but we're a hacker space, so we're gonna mess with some stuff. I'm gonna pull these batteries out. So I got all the screws out. Um, I'm gonna gently pull this up. I feel there's a wire here for the battery pack. So I'm just gonna gently set this over here. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna tap right into the audio signal right on the speaker. Um, and uh, I may consider taking off one of these leads so we don't have this inductor in the circuit when we're using the audio signal. Um, the only problem is that might be a too hot of a signal for our external speakers, but we'll see. We have a volume knob, so we can hopefully turn it down um, so that it doesn't just cause our speakers to just send pure distortion. Yeah, and there's lots of room in here. I'm gonna see if I can throw some 18650s here, but first I'll have to see uh, if this board will accept a lower voltage. Got my adjustable soldering iron, huh? Uh, probably around like four. So for the audio connector, I have a, this is from a, an old desktop computer case. I'm gonna go right here, about that far. I'm gonna give myself a little slack. Could it? There's two on here. Um, I'm just gonna use one for now. If I get really involved uh, at some point, I could have this be like an effects pedal as well, but who knows? Okay, let's pull the shielding back. To test, I'm instead of following these traces, to test, I'm just going to plug a cable in and test that. I'm gonna set my meter to the beep function and that will give us a good beep whenever the leads are shorted together. So I will stick one end here. So this is the shield. This is considered a tip ring shield connector. It's a three channel, uh, which is a, a three channel eighth inch audio jack. So I'm just gonna look for the ground right now. Oh, okay. Okay, it turns out the ground is on the shielding. I'm gonna cut this pretty short because I don't want it to to contact anything. Use my handy dandy grabber. Just a tip. Okay, it looks like it's this green one here. I'm gonna tin that as well. All right, so I cleared away some of this glue uh, because if I were to try and solder this and the glue got into the joint, it would screw it up pretty bad. Uh, throwing a little extra solder and flux onto this terminal here that I'm gonna solder to. Just touch them together. Make sure I was heating both pieces of metal together and then I didn't move at all. Kept my hand really solid afterwards. If you can, you generally wanna always add fresh, uh, fresh flux when you're soldering, but it, that was hard to do here, so I didn't. Again, this will go under here, right about here. All right, for this next step, I need to grab the nearest boom box. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down all the way. Now we're gonna plug it in. Oh, 
right sound. This is a recycled laptop battery. So laptop batteries look like this. There are a bunch of cells of these. Usually these are 18650s. It's a really common battery. I mean, vape pens use them. Um, so I'm gonna stick it in this holder so that I can stick some clips. I'm gonna start by clipping the negative here. Hopefully turn right on. Whoa, cool. whoa. Ah. But then, yeah, there's the low voltage sound. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I did not get to the lithium project. I could use a voltage regulator, but I don't have a good one for the job. I'd have to order one. I just wanted to be done today. So this is what I ended up with. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>